I could interrupt one of those seminars, it would probably go something like this. I would find a moment to take the stage and confidently take the microphone as if I could long then say to the audience, will you forget about wanting to be important? You can enhance with your frustration by just absolving yourself of this nonsense. Will you get him off the stage? The seminar manager would say to the stage assistant. Look at me, I'm a self-important city man. The seminar manager would say to the assistant, cut the microphone and dim the mic. I would be making my exit while the stage assistant gets the microphone turned back on and announces, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for this disruption. I don't know who that was. We are going to take a short recess and then resume with the strategic thinking seminar and the nine key factors to success. As I'm being chased away, I would shout, and another thing, and another thing. Another thing that pissed me off are these people that sing the praises of digital music because they bought an iPod. These are the same kinds of people that in 1999 had no idea about portable digital music players like the Diamond Rio or the Rome. When I would bring the topic up and say that is where we were headed, they would say something like, but where do I put the CD? These people said digital music wouldn't take off because they needed something tangible like the CD and cover art. When the music industry was complaining about the consumers grabbing songs for free online, I wondered, what had changed? I asked Elton. Do you remember when blank tapes were sold? Yes. What do you think 80 to 90% of those tapes were used for? Do you remember when you poo pooed digital music? Yes, and now the future is here and I'm one of them. I know, Elton says as he fumbles with an MP3 player. But he's not completely one of them yet. It's good to see that he still enjoys his old-fashioned tape mixes in his car. I wanted an MP3 player in 1999, and I even considered getting a watch that was also an MP3 player back then. But I denied myself, and so I have nothing. I'm an analog man in a digital world.